anachnoresis, from the Greek recognition. According to Aristotle, in Poetics, this is the moment of recognition, this is the moment of truth, when ignorance gives way to knowledge. For Aristotle, the ideal moment of anachnoresis coincides with peripeteia, or the reversal of fortune. Therefore, when the tragic hero or heroine fall from prosperity to misery or misfortune, that would be the moment of peripeteia, there is anachnoresis, they acknowledge the truth of the events that have taken place. They will accept that the events evolved and unfolded because of their tragic flaw and they will accept their downfall. Let's define catharsis. The feelings of pity and fear aroused in the audience by the tragic events lead to the relief of feeling better after a good cry, or to the relief of seeing that these awful things happened to other people, the other or tragic hero or heroine being the scapegoat in the figurative sacrifice. In Greek tragedy, catharsis occurred exclusively through pity or fear, for their plays had no comedy. Later in history, say during Renaissance for example, tragedies also provided relief through comic events within the play, even if the play was a tragedy. In the next and final episode of this series, I shall round things up by putting all of the concepts together and providing a reflection of my own. Stay tuned!